now we will study how to calculate the hot water demand for a commercial building the same procedure is applicable for all type of building whether it is high rise hospital school university or commercial center i am engineer nasir now i will do a simple exercise to calculate the hot water demand for a high rise building for central hot water system if you are not using a central hot water system then you can follow the same procedure to select the water heater for your specific area to make easy to understand we will do a simple calculation for a 28 story hotel building for our study let us assume this hotel has 22 typical floor and one floor for kitchen and dining kitchen and dining area has following fixtures that are public number 1 dishwasher 5 numbers kitchen sink 5 numbers lavatory or wash basin 10 numbers and each typical floor has following fixtures that are private Number 1 lavatory wash basin 20 numbers, shower 10 numbers and service sink 1 number. Then total fixture for 22 typical floor will be wash basin 440 numbers, shower 220 numbers and service sink 22 numbers. Then the total fixture for the building for which we need to calculate the hot water demand will be lavatory or wash basin. 440 numbers that are private, wash basin for public 10 numbers, showers that are also private 220 numbers, service sink 22 numbers, dishwasher 5 numbers, kitchen sink 5 numbers. For the calculation of hot water demand let us make an excel table showing fixture name, their type, building type and fixture total quantities. For hot water demand per fixture for various types of buildings, there are two tables, one from ASHRAE Table 9 or Table 1 from American Society of Plumbing Engineers to find the hot water demand per hour per fixture for all types of buildings. Hot water demand values in both tables are same. So for our calculation we will follow the table 1 from American Society of Plumbing Engineers. You can see in this table the first item are showing the fixture name. The second is showing the hot water demand for apartment house. Third number for club. Four number is showing the hot water demand per hour per fixture for gymnasium hospital uh, for gymnasium and fifth number is showing the hot water demand per fixture per hour for hospital next is for hotel then industrial plant then office building then private residence then school then YMCA so you can calculate the hot water demand per hour per fixture for all type of buildings using these tables. As we are doing our sample calculation for hotel building, so we will select the hotel from this table. The first column is for the fixture name. As our fixture is wash basin private type and it is item number one in this table. So we will select the item number one. And you can see the corresponding hot water demand for wash basin for hotel building for private type is 2 GPM. Then the next item is wash basin also that is public. So we will select the item number 2 and the corresponding hot water demand is 8 GPM. Our item number 3 is shower. So we will that is item number 9 in this table. So we will select the item number 9 and we will see the corresponding hot water demand is 75 GPM. Our next fixture is kitchen sink that is item number 6 in this table. So we will select the item number 6 from this table then the corresponding 
hot water demand for kitchen sink for hotel building is 30 gpm then next we have dishwasher you can see from this table item number 4 is dishwasher so we will select the item number 4 then we will see the corresponding hot water demand is from 50 to 200 gpm and we suppose that we will not use too much dishwasher here so we will select the lowest value that is 50 gpm then next item for us is service sink that is the item number 10 in this table we will select the item number 10 service sink then we will see the corresponding hot water demand for hotel building for servicing is 30 gpm then we will select the demand factor and storage capacity factor that is item number 9 and 20 in this table so we will select these both items and the corresponding value for demand factor for hotel building is 0.25 and storage capacity factor for hotel building is 0.80 let us fill in this table our selected hot water demand per fixer per hour for wash basin private type we have selected 2 gallon per hour per fixer for wash basin public type we have selected 8 gallon per hour per fixer for kitchen sink we have selected 30 gallon per hour per fixer for shower we have selected 75 gallon per hour per fixer for dishwasher this value is we have selected 50 gallon per hour per fixer and for service sink we have selected 30 gallon per hour per fixer now we get the result total hot water demand for wash basin private type 880 gallon per hour for wash basin public type 80 gallon per hour for kitchen sink we have 150 gallon per hour for shower we have 16500 gallon per hour for dishwasher we have 250 gallon per hour and for service sink we have 660 gallon per hour and the total hot water demand for the complete building we have 18520 gallon per hour also we have seen demand factor for hotel building is 0.25 and storage capacity factor for hotel building is 0.80 our next step is to calculate the probable demand we have the formula to calculate the probable demand probable demand equal to total demand into demand factor and we already calculated the total demand that is 18520 gallon per hour and we have selected the demand factor from the table it is 0 0.25 when we multiply 18520 by 0 0.25 we get the result 4630 gph so our probable demand is 4630 gph now we will calculate the storage capacity or the size of water heater for our building we have the formula for it storage capacity equal to probable demand into storage capacity factor probable demand we already calculated which is 4630 gallon per hour and the storage capacity factor we already selected its value is 0 0.80 when we multiply this 4630 by 0.8 then we get the result 3704 gallon it is the storage capacity or the size of water heater required for our building now we will calculate the power required in kilowatt for our water heater we already assume in our study that the hot water final temperature will be 140 degree fahrenheit let us assume the cold water temperature is at 40 degree fahrenheit and uh, then the temperature difference will be 140 minus 40 equal to 100 degree fahrenheit let us assume the thermal efficiency of 75 percent then we have the formula to calculate the kilowatt kilowatt equal to probable demand in gallon per hour into temperature difference in degree fahrenheit into 8.33 divided by 3412 into thermal efficiency when we apply this value in this formula we get the result 
the power required in kilowatt for our water heater will be 1507.15 kilowatt in this video we have selected our hot water demand per hour per fixture using ashray or american society for plumbing engineers table it is little bit difficult and time consuming in our next study we will use an excel program where you need to fill only the quantity of plumbing fixtures and you need to select only the building type then all other things this program will do automatically for you thank you very much